Hey everybody, welcome to the weekend vid and we'll start with the indexes. Last week, what we talked about was your Momo hammer. What'd they do? They closed higher because that went in force all week. And how do you reconfirm that? The 2-2 two -two on Wednesday, right here, about 5.17.78 closes, uh, what, 5.20. So a little bit of action in there. You're still an inside month giving you a little bit smaller intraday ranges, but they're up and on their way. So we'll see if we get another two next week to finish that off, take out the new highs or not. Um, Q's similarly, except tech, just slightly weaker. They take out their magnitude and didn't do much on Friday. So uh, we're going to want to see, do they confirm that next week or do they come in Monday and start bringing them back in? Uh, still an inside month there. Dow Jones still inside, but much, much stronger in the Dow Jones area. And how do you pick that out? Well, they went three here, giving you relative strength. And then they went three, two here, above 390.91 Thursday. And they really got going. So that rejection until we get a two, two reversal, still three, two and still going. So it's going to give you relative strength in there. Uh, the IDBM, it's going to be the weakest of the bunch, barely closed higher than last week's highs, still very inside month like the rest. So your strongest sectors, utilities, that's still like, you know, the main one, the main utility trade, three, two, two week and up they go. So you got the month Momo hammer in force. That's not turning around. You got the week inside and up in force. That's not turning around. So we'd love to see a two down on Monday and then a two, two on a Tuesday in the utilities to give us some really nice, simple setups in there to confirm what we know. Staples XLP, they had the inside weaken up. So relatively strength, still just a defensive posturing market. And what they did there was go and take out some of their pivot targets up in here, uh, what 77.82 so going into new highs on the quarter but not all-time highs so staples still have some ways to go and then defense stocks dfen being a little bit stronger it's really uh let me get in here gd and rtx so gd had the 312 week up rtx had the 312 week up and those just really got going last week uh didn't spend too much time there but up they go and going into the new week we're going to see a lot of inside weeks in the energies. It's kind of 50-50. Uh, we're still two down month and a two up in red quarter below 94.69. So unless that changes and we take out last week's highs, still have issues in there. They're closer to 2-2 two -two on Monday. And what that would do is take you down here. It should t trigger the week. So when I look at my bullish continuity list, there's not much energies with inside weeks. There's some stronger ones like CVX, really strong inside 3-1, closer to twos up, confirming the quarter. Uh, the other ones we like, like Oxy, that's two down, three, two down last week. So that's a little bit of an issue. Trying to go outside quarter one, three rev strats. If we go to XOM, could be a two up week next week. It's not far from it, but if you go in the month here, still two, two months down. So you got to negate that. And you know, like PXD, it's an inside month. So when we see this, it's going to be a little bit more lackluster. We might see some good things because we obviously saw they went and bought every energy stock. We picked up on that very early when that started down in here. Uh, now, the stronger ones will form inside months. The weaker ones are going to start coming back in. They're, it's going to be the ones they just get out of. They're like, yeah, we bought them, made our money, but now we're going to get out. And they're going to, the stronger ones, they're going to sit on the bid and they're just going to accumulate shares. So we're going to let them do that on the bearish continuity list. What we're going to see is a lot of energies like shooters and stuff. So HAL closer to a 212 measured move down to confirm a 22 month. And if we go to CVE closer to 312 down, which would try and trigger the 22 month. If we go to AR, it's a shooter week at the highs. Could have full time from continuity on that 22 reversal. COP, that would be a measured move, 212. So this is something we'd want to know about. And it has a 2 2 shooter month in force as well. So this confirms the month, and you'd have two signals in force at that point. DVN 3 1 with the shooter month. So again, that would confirm what the month is doing. EOG with the 3 1, that would trigger and add another monthly signal. So we want to see how many of those are coming down. Sorry, uh, Monday. And where the next two is, because it's, it's not quite 50 50. We have more stuff on the bearish continuity list, but we'll just have to see. And if you go to Fang, Inside week, closer to a shooter down, but also could be full-time from continuity up, depending on what they're going to do with that one. RRC, closer to a shooter, two, two weeks, still an inside month, a little stronger. MPC, one, three, one week with the two, two month, back through previous range below 181.4. So like COP, we want to know about that. Same with VLO, which moves with MPC. So two, two month in force with the one, three, one week. So we want to know about that. 
and then what liquid natural gas you got the potential outside month with the inside week so it could get a couple bucks in there but you can see a lot of the energies they're just closer to breaking down so we'll see if there is any strength next week it'd be cvx we want to go after that one closer to twos up try and take out the yearly magnitude here for the one three year so that's gonna be what we're doing as far as a focus goes on the downside and then Additionally, there's some Nike inside week closer to breaking down, with the, which which would take the inside year down two on two measured moves. So weekly guys to trigger the yearly guys. Um, on on also had this big three last week. So we'll see if Nike and on on are going to be coming back in together in the footwear side of things. There's also like Under Armour with the inside week. So potentially get some moves in the consumer discretionaries next week there. Uh, In the staples on the upside, trying to load them up. Sorry, we're gonna have a few setups. So, Dollar General, we'll have the 2 2 week, a little bit of a PMG in there with full time from continuity above the month open. There's gonna be Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup, which is gonna be one of the strong ones inside week. And remember, you had the inside week back in here and they did get moving. So, inside week confirms Momo Hammer Month which confirms inside quarter up two on two reversal. And this is coming from the macro list where we're looking at the quarterly charts so you can see your try, like so. Boom, boom. So inside quarter here, they're trying to go up there, 57.63. Uh, there's GIS as well, which is packaged food and meats. Two, two week potentially, still an inside quarter though. But what it could do is trigger the inside month and up to confirm what the staples are already doing. So you'd have a lot of evidence if you can get that going. And there's also going to be things that are already going like Kroger reverse last week after some minor triangle they out Costco had a very very nice stuff and on Friday from if you got the uh, Twitter post for what you call it Lotto Friday sorry about that <laughs> uh, Costco you had the night nice break in the morning three hours sideways or four hours sideways and then afternoon they went and took out that magnitude for you and walmart we did see them two two or two on two last week didn't quite go anywhere but it has this nice little inside day from the looks of it what high yeah so a nice little inside day try and confirm that week next week which could take the month up and confirm what the staples are already doing so we're going to see if we can confirm what's already going on and the last thing in here is Right, there's actually two. It'd be CAG, 3 2 Hammer Week, and it would be Hurl, Hormel Foods, 1 3 2 Rev Strat Week above 3575 to trigger the monthly guys and see if they're going to start going after that. If we zoom out a little bit, you can see it's been a lot higher. So if that wants to get going, you'd have this measured move type of move here where. You get this nice buying and then sideways for a while and then the rev strat week to potentially get those buyers coming back again so we'll definitely want to focus on the staples next week in that side of things the weekly actionable signal list and on the industrial side of things we also see a little a few good inside weeks in there it's a lot of the smaller stocks though so it's not something i'm super interested in one that sticks out to me is waste management which has the inside week to trigger the inside month and up. And this one's been really gunning along. So that would reconfirm what you know there. And see if I'm missing anything in here. There's like two inside weeks in the health cares. In the info techs, you got a decent little chunk of them. Uh, that reminds me in the info techs. D Dog is something I'd want to know about. It did have the 2 2 after the gap down from the gapper list, and they have this nice little triangle out on the week here. So, above 127, if we can do that next week, it has some distance to do it, like nine bucks, but above that, we could start getting back through the rest of those pivots. And that's something that's going to move normally with Crowd, which had a nice little Momo Hammer week last week for the Lotto Friday guys. They did get you going into the monthly pivot, but didn't keep it in force. So, we'll see if those two want to start going or not. But really we want to stick to where the twos are and it's really a staples of the utes and we'll see next week maybe we can get some more twos on the monthly in the 
tech if we're gonna have a full recovery but so far we just don't see that no monthly reversals there so that's gonna be about it for me we're gonna stick to the gap list as well this week given all the inside months and we're gonna lack actionable signals on the weekly now after last week's hammer signal it's gonna exhaust and we don't have that anymore so gappers and we'll see if the staples the utes all that stuff can set up coming into the rest of the month so that's gonna be it for me i hope you guys have a great rest of your night and i'll see you guys bright and early tuesday morning for those in stat and for those that are not i'll see you guys in monday night's nightly vid